Hello, I will show you how to do the first chapter of the Correct C++ course. So we, I'm now at the main page of the Correct C++ course from the user Richard Bilderbeek. And if I scroll down, here we see an overview of all chapters. The first chapter is called Scoreboard. If I just click on it, I go to the GitHub of that chapter. The goal of that chapter is to experience how this course works. You need a GitHub and a Travis account. Both are free, so that should be easy. And we need to replace this thing by that thing. So basically, for some repository names, we need to change the username from Richard Bilderbeek to your GitHub username. Easy. And we need to do that in this file. So there's a f we are looking at a file now. It's called readme.md. And then we'll change it. So you can also see it here. If, we, if you click on it and you click on raw, you can see the raw version. But we'll see it in when we modify it anyways. Always as in, in, in this course, always you see um, the, the step by step solution. So we have to log into GitHub. I already did that. We have to fork a chapter. Um, I will show you just how to fork a chapter, but you can click on this. It will show you a more detailed step-by-step -step explanation with pictures how to do so. I will just show you how to do it. All right. So we're going to do that. Fork this repository. We go up. We click fork. And we have forked our repository. So we will have a GitHub called CorrectCPP scoreboard, but with the username CorrectCPP. So we forked from Richard Bilderbeek, which is awesome. Step 3. Activate Travis CI for your GitHub. See, activate for help. Well, we need to go to Travis, to travisci.org. It's a bit smaller, so I'll read it out. Travis, T-R-A-V-I-S, minus C-I, dot org. And if you're there, you can sign in with your GitHub. And oh, we're at Travis. And it doesn't know yet that we have GitHubs. So we're going to our accounts. And it has already detected our GitHub. So I can see that it sees our GitHub and I just need to activate it. But would it be absent? You click here on Sync Account. So then it will start looking at GitHub, sees all right, what kind of GitHubs does he or she, does this user have? And um, then it should appear. It doesn't always appear immediately, so you also have to do a bit of refresh, but within a minute it gets there. If you have. Uh, not a, a couple of hundred repositories. All right, activate it, done. That means that Travis, it's a continuous integration service, will check this GitHub if something happens to its code or content. Step four, clone your fork. Well, let's do that. I'm going to, to the terminal, git clone, and let's copy the URL here, clone or download. Just click it and up copy to the down to the clipboard. Going back to the terminal and paste it there. So now we've cloned our GitHub. It's on our local computer now with CD change directory. We go into the folder. When we do ls, we see a list of all files. And now we have to modify readme.md. Let's take a look at the exercise. We have to modify some up, we have to replace up, alright. So I like these search these strings better, so I'm going to replace that thing. I'm going to copy it now. And in the terminal I'm going to start mousepad, it's an editor on README. I'm going to replace the string that the exercise indicated. And I'm going to replace Richard Bilderbeek by my current username, correct CPP. I'm going to replace all and up all is replaced. We save, we close. I just clean up the screen and we've modified our README. Well done! But it's not on the GitHub yet because it's only on our local computer. Our next step will be to push our code. Well, let's do so. I go back to the terminal again. git add minus minus all colon slash which means dear git everything I've changed in this repository and all folders, please take it into account. For my commit, commit is done exercise. Uh, well, don't be too... Uh, so let's label it done exercise. So we, the changes we've made, 
we've uh, described it as done exercise. And then we need to do a git push to uh, make it go back to GitHub again, to upload it more or less. Well, this worked. So let's take a look at our GitHub then. It's not refreshed yet. We see that there are some things here. We see that this is red and gray. If we push refresh, we'll see that our commit message is already here. We can see that this build status is still unknown. We can see below that most build statuses are known. That these are known is because I've already done some uh, these chapters once in a while already for these videos, and it's a bit confused. This will go uh, go away after a day or something. Uh, it's a bit. Sometimes there's some state there. We don't know for sure yet if we've done our access. Perhaps if, I, perhaps if I just do a refresh, it will already turn green. But it may be that probably that Travis is working on it. Let's take a look. We can click the button. I like to do that in a new tab. And we can see what Travis is doing now. It says there are no builds for this repository. Correct, it has not finished any builds for this repository yet. But if I click on build history, then we'll see that it's uh, running. It's doing its magic here. We see it's... Um, so these circles, they should move a bit. But it's a bit busy probably. So we'll probably have to wait for some minutes uh, for Travis to finish. So um, instead of me killing the time... Oh, it starts working. Well, I will kill the time by just showing what's going on. But this is not very important. Uh, the first steps that Travis will do is it will start a virtual environment, uh, a Docker container or whatever, that will have a clean new operating system installed. I think it's um, it's a trusty tar Linux, uh, Lubuntu distribution, 64-bit uh, I see here, and you you don't need to read this. I'm just killing the time here. It does does some checks, and at the bottom, this is the most important line: done. Your build exited with zero, which means you've done your exercise correctly. So well done. Let's see. Um, so this is already green. That's great. If we click on the Octocat, which is the GitHub logo takes us back to our github and if we now press refresh here then we see that our button turns green and we've done our exercise correctly <laughs>